We're going to take some bird seed, tuna can, and a stick. We're heading toward a tomato patch. Find out why right after this. So we've had a problem with the tomato hornworm, not to the extent that we have in the past, but we're going to take some measures to try to rid the garden of it. Now we have sprayed BT on the tomato plants with some effect, but the thing is when it rains, the BT gets washed off, whether you're using the powder form or the liquid form. Now we are in, we've got three grow bags here. We've got three tomatoes in this 60 gallon grow bag from Rootmaker Trap, Trapper, uh, Trapper 2. And we've got some hornworms somewhere in this because we're getting tomatoes that's getting ate on. Not totally destroyed in some instances, but uh, I did have one that got ate pretty bad. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take a tuna can, nail it to a post, we're gonna put some bird seed in. What the, what the premise of this uh, project is, we put the bird seed here, the birds will find the bird seed. They, they have very keen sense of sight. So they'll come, they'll sit here, they'll feed on it, they'll see these worms or worm, and they'll get in there and pick it off. That's the, that's the thought process here, and we've seen it successful in other applications. So what we need in order to make this process work is we need a stick. It can be a big stick, little stick, whatever you want. The only uh, thing you want to keep in mind is you want it to be firm enough, thick enough, big enough that you can get it at least a couple feet off the ground. This will be probably about three foot off the ground once I get it pounded into the ground. As well as you want it to have, you know, the, the tuna can or the, the device that you're putting the bird seed in, you can use peanuts too, to be firm enough that the birds can land on it without feeling unstable. Now you could also, if you have a little bird feeder, you could also put that in your tomato patch or around your tomato patch to entice the birds to come in that way and see if that can help uh, get the, the bird, the uh, hornworm uh, away. So I'm just gonna get this in the ground and then we'll get the tuna can on top of it. Okay, now with the tuna can, this can be any type of can, bottom of a anything. Uh, using a tuna can because it's metal, got a system, some good strength to it. You could use the bottom of maybe a milk, uh, milk jug, a plastic milk jug or uh, something like that, but we're doing metal because it's sturdy. We also have some holes poked in the bottom for a couple reasons. Drainage, because when it rains, the gonna fill up with water, we're gonna have birds eating it. And the center hole is so I can easily attach the nail to the stake here. So we're just gonna, you can use screws, but this will work best for us here. Try to, you wanna get it in the center of the post. So you have the best, uh, uh, they have more wood around the nail here, all right. All right, so that's good and sturdy. The birds can lay nest on there. You know, I'm putting good, a lot of force on that, so we're good there. And they're just ordinary bird seed, peanuts, something to attract the birds. I'm only gonna fill it about a quarter full because I want the birds to come in, eat off that, know it's here, but also they've got a keen sense of sight that they can pick these hornworms up. Hornworms generally move around most at dusk and at dawn. Birds do quite a bit of that as well. They, you know, if you get up real early in the morning, you hear the birds starting to, uh, to sing or whatever you want to call that, they're on the move as well. So this hopefully will help decrease the number of hornworms in our garden so we can get more tomatoes for us instead of for nature. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.